Flying into St. Martin, it's easy to see why this tiny French Caribbean island has long been considered a piece of paradise. Coming into land, though, it's a different story. This place has been devastated by Hurricane Irma. At the airport, French police and soldiers were busy overseeing what has become a huge emergency operation. Emergency services had to work very hard to clear all the debris from this runway. And planes like this have been coming in with aid and leaving with the sick and the injured. Hundreds of people are being flown out, elderly residents and tourists who didn't get the holiday that they were expecting. And there were chaotic scenes as some people tried to board planes which were full. No, the hospital wants us to go because I just met baby this morning. So they want us to leave. French authorities say they're also dealing with looters. We are making arrests. There are armed men acting aggressively and terrorizing citizens with knives. There are groups with machetes robbing people in their homes. People are terrorized. The situation is already intense. Our priority is to disarm and arrest them. There will be a curfew tonight. I don't know what hour, but we will put a curfew in place tonight and enforce it. For those here, the ordeal is not over yet. Another hurricane, Jose, is on the way. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, St. Martin.